One year ago today, tragedy hit Mountain Grove Square. A massive fire destroyed several buildings there. Color 10 Cindy Moran covered the fire that day, and she is live there now to show what it, what the last building standing looks like today. Sydney. Bailey and Steve, we are here at Mateo's. You can see there are still a few people here eating dinner tonight. And actually, Mateo's, today is Community Appreciation Day just because of how the community helped bring this place back after that fire last July. Now, actually, Mateo's was shut down for four months after that fire happened. And part of the building is actually still blocked off here right now because of the severe damage the fire caused. Owner Matthew Brown says business, though, has been pretty good. He says they're just so grateful for the support of the community. Now, that fire last year took out four other buildings, and one of the buildings collapsed. And because of that, an electrical fire started and flames spread to the other buildings. Although the community and officials have made great strides to put things back together, things aren't quite the same. Because of the damage that has occurred, uh, the history that has gone, uh, the lives that were affected, the businesses that were affected, our town has a huge hole. Still, we have a big black eye right in the middle of our square, and it's it hurts, you know, to see this every day. But we're gonna we're we're, we're not gone. We're still here. Now, as for what's next for Mateos, they plan on expanding their menu so they can keep more people coming in through their doors. Reporting in Mountain Grove, City Moran, Ozarks First.